everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Oh, oh, da, 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 making our Christmas memories. Today, Ali and I are answering the questions that were asked in the subscriber giveaway a couple of months ago. Was it October that I put that video out? Yeah, it was October. And there's a lot of questions, so we're just going to get right into it. Ali, short answers, no long-winded ones, right? And I'll try and I'll try and do the same. The first question that we're going to answer is Rachel's. Rachel is the one who won the subscriber giveaway, so it makes sense that we answer hers first. What is your idea of the perfect Christmas day? Christmas dinner. That's your idea, perfect Christmas day, just Christmas dinner. Well, opening presents and having Christmas dinner. My idea, perfect Christmas day. spending day. time with family and having a joyful Christmas. <laughs> My idea of a perfect Christmas day is, like every year, however we plan to spend that day, is basically my idea of perfect Christmas day. I wouldn't change anything about our Christmas days. When we get up in the mornings, we open our stocking and then we have our breakfast and then we open our presents and then there's a couple of hours lull where I might be cooking if it's my turn or we might, you know, be going visiting people or something and then have our Christmas dinner and then spend it with our, my brothers and that usually at night, which we're probably not going to be able to do that this year, but we're still going to be able to do everything else. So usually however I plan my Christmas day is how I want to spend it. I wouldn't change anything about my Christmas days the way we have them at the minute. It's just spending time with family and having your Christmas dinner, opening up the presents for the young ones. I like how you say that. Ali's short answer is no long I know, oh, I know. See, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to be quick, but I can't. Sylvia McGee asks, if you could have anything for Christmas, what would it be? And she also wants to know what is Ali's favourite part of Christmas? Stuffing. <laughs> what is it with you and stuffing? Stuffing's the best food in the world. But you don't just get that at Christmas. So, still get it on Christmas. Stuffing That's your favourite part of Christmas? Well, fair enough. No, I'm joking. Opening the present for me and seeing everyone. And the, and the party after night, yeah, that's the part that we probably aren't going to be able to do this year, but we'll do it some other point when we're allowed to. And if you could have anything for Christmas, what would it be? Snow? I want snow for Christmas. I said this to someone in a comment the other day. If it snows on Christmas Day, I, I don't want it to snow until we're back home from my mum's because then we'll get trapped in five. But if <laughs> If it snows on Christmas Day and we have a white Christmas, I would forgive 2020. Like, I would actually forgive 2020 for all the shit that is through us this year because it would be earned in 2020 with a perfect Christmas Day, right? I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm saying this right. It's either Seri or Cherry or Kerry McDonald. I'm really sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. What's the worst thing you've ever been given for Christmas and had to pretend to like? Oh, that's a horrible question. Oh, Molo Mins also asked a similar question, that? actually. What is the weirdest or worst gift you've ever got? I don't think I've ever had, like, a really bad, bad Christmas gift. And honestly, I'm the most easily pleased person in the world when it comes to Christmas gifts. I love everything. Oh, I thought it was weird one year that my dad gave me a Parma ham. No, a Serrano ham. Like, a whole Serrano ham. Like, that was expensive. I really appreciated it. I really love Serrano ham. I just thought it was kind of weird as a Christmas gift. Mary G asks if we have a special traditional Christmas morning breakfast. Yes. Yes. Sausage with black pudding in the middle. I don't know what it's called. I can't it's called black eye. Black eye. It's rose. Like buck fizz. Buck fizz. Buck fizz. Buck fizz. Buck fizz. So it's black eye, which is sliced sausage with black pudding in the middle. On a roll, we're actually going to have tatty scones with it this year because I really want tatty scones. I don't get enough tatty scones these days. And I usually have a glassy box fizz. I usually start drinking box fizz with my breakfast. I give Ali a small little droppy box fizz. It's literally just fizzy alcoholic orange juice, but it's not really high percentage. So he just gets a wee bit just because it's Christmas. And he hasn't... That was only last year, the first time you had that, wasn't it? Uh, I think so. Aye. Fiona from our Crazy Life Scotland and Glamma SW aka Tracy asks, what is your favourite Christmas memory? Oh, and Danny asked that as well, actually. 
Shall I go first? <laughs> one of my favourite Christmas memories, because there's quite a few, but I think the one that stands out the most is Ali's third Christmas. It would have been two. It was your Thomas the Train. You came on, I'm going to say, aren't you? I got on my Thomas the Train. A Thomas the Train. A Thomas the Tank Engine train set, like the Mamas and Papas one. It was so much nicer than the ones that they're making now. They're not making these ones anymore. It was beautiful. And I, like, I was adamant for the whole year before that I was getting on this Thomas the Tank Engine train thing. It's like a ride on one. Oh my God, that was gorgeous. He had wanted, he'd seen in Tesco, like a, shortly before that, that they had the Teletubbies. It was a full te dancing Teletubby thing. And he was over the moon that he got his um, Thomas the Tank Engine train. And then he was over the moon that he got his Teletubby pole. But instead of him going onto the train himself and having a ride along, he put oh. Po on it. And I actually think my mum has a little uh, clip from, sorry, I've got something in my eye. My mum actually, I'm sure she has a little video clip or something of that somewhere from an old phone. I wouldn't be able to put it on YouTube because it's like really bad quality. Um, I don't even think you'd be able to see what was happening, but um, yeah, he put Poe on his train and was making Poe have a ride along on his train. Like, <laughs> it's the cutest thing. He would go on the train himself, but Poe was allowed to ride. Did I never ever go on that train myself? No, you did go on it eventually. Like, we were like, no, Ali, it's not for Poe, it's for you. <laughs> you might have been three. No, I'm sure you were two. Anyway, what's yours? It's really hard because there's loads, but probably at my Xbox. <sighs> Xbox, getting his Xbox. Xbox, probably 2016. Was that how long ago it was you got your Xbox? That's lasted you well. I'm surprised the amount of the abuse that it takes. Are they actually abuse the Xbox? No, just the, the pads. Controllers. Aye, just the pads. Elaine Williams says, <sighs> who gets most excited on Christmas morning and who wakes up first? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> That's not true. Mm -hmm. I do get the most excited. And actually, up until about three years ago, I was the first one to wake up. Every year, I was the first one to wake up. But the last couple of years, Ali's woke up before me. I'm, I'm always going to be a big kid at heart. I'm always going to be the most excited, probably, in my whole damn family about Christmas. Mm -hmm. Well, here, quite a few people asked this question. Karen Quinn, Sparkles Higgins, Paula Gray and Akila Jabin. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. What's your favourite Christmas movie? Mine's is Scrooge with Bill Murray. Flippin' love that movie. And Ali's is L. Oh, by the way, just while I saw the reflection of the ring light, I'm really sorry if you can see the ring lights, reflections, and Ali's glasses, but he can't take his glasses off. He's blind and it's really dark, so we're, we're having to use the ring light. Lee Wagstaff asks, do you like to get into new jammies and slippers and watch a Christmas film after Christmas dinner. No, no. We don't watch anything on Christmas Day. We don't watch anything on Christmas Day. I used to watch the Doctor Who Christmas specials on Christmas Day, but on Christmas Day we don't watch just, anything. The telly's not on at all. Spend the whole, we'll open presents and then spend the rest of the day with people. Have presents, go and tell us for dinner. Well now, usually the Christmas Eve boxes first, probably, but we go around to the dinner and then we usually dinner and then go to the Stuart's. My brother Stuart usually has like a Christmas night party at his bit. We all just gather at his. Kirsty Grant, Mandy Nielsen and Claire Jones all asked your favourite Christmas tradi tradition. Uh, we have so many. And getting stuck in. I waking up first thing and opening the stove and, and that is one of them. Breakfast. Yeah, we're breakfast. pretty rigid in how we do our Christmas day. Yeah. Yeah, waking up and opening a stocking. You've got to have a stocking on Christmas morning. Kirsty Harrison asks, your favourite Christmas memory in childhood and have you carried any tradition on from your family? Literally everything we do on Christmas day, how we, how our time spent, like when we wake up in the morning and we open our stocking like we were saying, and then we have our breakfast and then we open our presents and then, and then we go out for dinner or we make the dinner or whatever. That's literally how we spent it when I was a kid. That is everything that we done when I was a child. So I'm carrying 
basically all everything that I done when we were children and carrying on through to my children and doing it in adulthood and all that like everything we do is how we done it as a family when we were younger and my favourite Christmas memory as a child, I know I'm trying to think, there's so many. I always just remember sitting around the dinner table. I always just remember sitting down the dinner table and no matter what we were talking about, the subject would always turn to shite. It would always it was always turn to shite. I don't know how. And then everybody would get annoyed. Oh, well, not everybody. My granny would get annoyed that the conversation conversation had once again turned to shite, even though we weren't on that subject at all beforehand. <laughs> and there'd be some bickering or that, but it wasn't like proper bickering, it was just like, it was kind of like banter more than bickering and that. Um, so I always just remember sitting around the dinner table with like my granny and my granddad and my mum and my dad and all my brothers and um, sometimes my uncle Dave would be here, be there with one of his girlfriends back in those days. Um, I also remember when my dad first got a video cap, video camera, like the proper old massive brick style ones. I remember um, um doing some like I don't know how to explain it. Like he had, well you, you couldn't edit it properly in those days. You had to just like clip all the all the bits that he'd recorded were already clipped together on the tape that he'd was doing it so he must have like been press and record and then stopped it go and get your feet away from there press and record and then stopped it and then they put out all the presents and then and then pressed record again so it looked like the presents had just magically appeared and then they'd obviously started recording another bit my dad had a jumper on back to front because I think it had writing on but he turned his jumper inside out and then he like walked past the lens on the video camera so it looked like it was red so it looked like Santa was passing the video camera like he told us that he'd left it out recording all night because he tried to get Santa Claus on video camera and then when we saw the footage the next day he was it looked like really magical I mean I think I was at the point where I didn't right for the little listeners, make sure there's no little listeners around. I was at that point, but it was still, even at that point, it was still quite awesome how that he'd done it. Um, back in the days anyway, you wouldn't get away with that kind of thing now. Kids are too tech savvy and all that now, but it was really magical for like my brothers who were a lot younger than that at the time. Um, Emma, Oh, it must be Emma, Emma. Like, I've not wrote anything else. I literally just wrote Emma. It must be Emma. What is your and Ali's favourite Christmas food? Stuffing. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> what is your fascination with stuffing at the minute? Um, yeah, stuffing is one of mine. In Christmas dinner, I love stuffing, the pigs and blankets, or oh, Kelty pigs sausages. And mm -hmm. Pigs and blankets is awesome. And roast potatoes and Obviously, bread sauce. I flipping love bread sauce. Christine from My Life and Hobbies asks, What was Ali's very first Christmas present? What was my very first Do you remember Ali? My stocking. No, you were. I didn't get you a stocking your first Christmas because you were. You weren't even two months old yet. You were. True, actually. Yeah. I was like a month and 15 days. Ali's very first Christmas present that I got him because it wasn't even two months. I had no idea what to get him, but I got him a big. Um, like donut, you'll know what I mean. It's like a big inflatable donut thing that you've got like a play mat on and then it has bits hanging over it, you know, so you could just lie in it and chill and I don't know, I don't know what they're called. Like it's like a little activity centre thing it was called. I think that was Ali's very first Christmas present. Lynn Chamberlain asked, do you go sale shopping on Boxing Day? No. No, no we're sitting. We don't, we don't leave the house on Boxing Day. Probably, we do go sales shopping in the January sales, but definitely not on Boxing Day. I mean, in January, in the January sales. Julie Buddha asks, if you could spend Christmas Day with any one person in the world, alive or dead, who would it be? Granny Granny. My granny, 100%. Um, I got a last Christmas with my dad, or like, it would be my dad that I was saying for, but I can't remember the last time we actually spent a Christmas with my granny. 
so I would actually love to just have one more. <laughs> Amy Muirhead, Trudy Beanie and Margaret Craig all ask a similar question which is what is our Christmas Eve routine? Um, well, it's usually night. We didn't do anything specifically routine in the morning. Actually, no, we didn't. Well, we get up in the morning, we go and give all the kids their Christmas Eve boxes, and then during the day we don't really have anything that we do, but then at night time you can... You we know. have a bath, watch... That's it. No, no, have a bath and get into what? The new pyjamas. The new pyjamas. Pyjamas that we got, and then watch the snowman and the snow dog and then I get to open my own present for the kitchen. Any present I want. Well, that's mine now, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ali um, gets to choose one present from under the tree on Christmas Eve. And we used to do that when we were younger, but the one present was always our new pyjamas from my granny. But because I give all the kids and all that their new pyjamas now for Christmas Eve, um, I still let them choose one present because up until about two or three years ago my granny was still giving us our jammies on Christmas Eve um, and then she stopped that because there were so many kids, there was just so many kids so I took it over doing the pyjamas on Christmas Eve and then Ali gets it in his Christmas Eve box so now, and so do all the kids actually so because he's always opened one present under the tree on Christmas Eve I still let him choose, he just chooses whatever one that he fancies on Christmas Eve and also the snowman and the snow dog is what we watch. It used to be the, just the snowman until the new snowman and the snow dog came out. The snowman was also the movie that we always watched on Christmas Eve when we were younger. Sarah Thorpe asked, do you prefer Christmas day at home for dinner or would you rather go out for Christmas dinner? Oh, that's a hard question because last year was fun at the house whenever we came over, but so, the year before when we went to Collins was really fun. I know, but we've also so went out to a restaurant. We, I like to change it no, up every good. year. That was me. That was me. That was me. That was good as well. Well, it was good, but it wasn't as good. I like to change it up every year, and I like to go out to other people's houses. Uh, generally, because it's nice when somebody else makes the Christmas dinner. But like last year, I went to my brother's, and I ended up making the majority of it. No, two years, ago, two years ago. Sorry, two years ago, I ended up ended up making the most of the dinner because. Well, I just did. And then last year it was here. I, I really enjoy it. I like taking alternate years out and then in because otherwise it might end up boring. But I like to spend a dinner with like, one year it was my brother Colin and all that. And last year we were meant to be going to my brother Andrew's but it ended up being here. And then this year we're going to spend it with my mum. So I like to spend it with different people as well. Because there usually is just us and Mark. That's, that's not like really an exciting Christmas dinner. I mean, for the amount of food that I make, that's not enough people for Christmas dinner. I mean, I like either or. We have also been out to a restaurant and it was nice. The the thing that was nice about that was not having to deal with all the dishes. Deal with all the dishes and all the mess and all the clean up and all the stress of cooking all the food and everything. That was nice. But the Christmas meal was never, wasn't as good as what we have at home or at Chicken somebody else's. Chips was just not the same. Oh, Ali's cousin Ryan, who doesn't eat anything apart from like chicken nuggets and chips, he had chicken nuggets and chips. And Ali decided that that's what he wanted for his Christmas dinner that year. So that's a big regret on your Christmas, Christmas regrets, isn't it? Marcella McEwen asks, what is your favourite Christmas song? Oh, I forgot what it was called. Sing it to us. I can't, I can't remember how it... I've not, I've not heard it in ages. Mine's is a toss up between The Pogues, Fairy Tale of New York, or Band-Aid, Do what You Know It's fairy... Christmas. What was this fairy... What does Do You Know It's Christmas say? Feed the Ah, oh, that one, that's my favourite. Is that your favourite one? The Band Aid one. That is a fucking great Christmas song. Or, or, I wish it could be Christmas. I know. Uh, to be fair, all Christmas songs are really good, except from crap Christmas songs. Mrs. P, Not So Secret Diary, asks On Christmas Day, do you stick to Slimming World or do you cheat? That is, no. And Emma Royal asked a similar question to that, no, I definitely, I come off plan for the majority of Christmas week, not just Christmas Day. Jane Bishop asked, what is your favourite film you and Ali love to watch on Christmas Day? We've answered that, we don't watch anything on Christmas Day. 
Honeydew Melons asked, what's your favourite Christmas dessert? Ooh, Ali, I'll let you answer that. <laughs> He's laughing at the name Honeydew Melons. I'm very sorry whoever is. Honeydew Melons. Anyway, stick it off with them. Oh no! Yulog. Yulog, don't be a stay. Um, I, I really don't really eat a pudding on Christmas Day. I usually just have cheese. Carol Vital, Vital asks, who puts the star on top of the Christmas tree? Her. She does not let me go near the Christmas decorations. He's not allowed near the Christmas decorations. I'm not a great mum in that sense. This is all me. Peanut671 asks, what's your favourite colour scheme for Christmas decorations? I don't know. I don't believe in colour schemes for Christmas I decorations. I need to Oh, sorry. I'll just answer this while you blow your nose. What, what is it? Tell me what it is. It's what's your favourite colour scheme for Christmas oh, decorations? Oh. I don't believe in colour schemes for Christmas decorations at all. But I do kind of, I guess you could say it's like red and white and green and gold and silver type colours. I mean, that's a mixture of colours right there. But I really don't stick to any one colour. I just, I like it as bright and as vibrant as tacky looking 80s kind of style Christmas decorations as I can get it. I don't like a colour scheme. Do you know what my brother told me today actually? That he has colour scheme. It's the first time he's ever done a colour scheme and he got silver to match his couch. That's bizarre. That's bizarre to me. And yeah, the look that I gave him was kind of like this. I was like, what? No. Kaylee Jones asks, what's your favourite? Oh no, I better save that one for Ali. He's back. Kaylee Jones asks, what's your favourite Christmas sweet treat that you can't say no to? Anything gingerbread. Uh, I know yours. What? The lint snowflakes. Mm, dry. The lint snowflakes that you get that are like. Or just anything that's Christmassy and lint. Lint. Aye. Lint chocolate for Ali. Sea Glass Kaz asks If you have a tipple at Christmas, what would, you, what would be your go to favourite? Ali doesn't drink of oh, well I hope Ali doesn't drink obviously. A alcoholic drink usually. So mine's is Bucks Fizz, that's literally all I drink on Christmas Day, usually. I don't I think I think I maybe had a few gins last year in the evening when we were at my brother's but usually it's just Bucks Fizz all day Christmas Day. Ashley Snuggles asks if you could only get one present that you got every Christmas, what would it what would you choose? I think she said pyjamas and I think I would be the same, I would just want pyjamas or just smelly stuff every year. I love getting smelly stuff, it keeps me going for months. An Xbox controller. An Xbox controller, well, you literally ask for one every Christmas. <laughs> Rebecca J asks, who is your favourite person to buy presents for? This one, easy. I love buying presents for him and I get really excited because I know what his reactions are going to be like. Who's your favourite person to buy presents for? I don't have a favourite, I just buy Christmas You just like buying Christmas presents. Slimmer World Savvy aka Caroline asks, if you could both have one Christmas wish, Christmas wish, what would it be? I'm going to have to go with the snow. I want snow for everyone. Anyone that wants snow on Christmas Day, I want everyone to have snow for Christmas Day. If you want snow on Christmas Day, I wish for you all to have snow on Christmas Day. Because wouldn't that be lovely? Wouldn't that just be the perfect Christmas? Um, peace on earth. I'm religious. I don't think you have to be religious to wish for peace, Ali. No, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Edwina Reed asked, do you buy the pets Christmas presents too? Yes, yeah, we do. Give them a they have their own stockings and I just fill that up with like treats and toys and stuff and for them. And they get an advent spoiled little brats. <laughs> Jeannie Kyle asks, do you have a favourite decoration for the tree or any other house decoration? Aye, I, I can't wait, you're already got a pet for the tree. Well, I think they know what I'm going to say as well actually because it was like the crisp, the giveaway or that question last week. 
It's the tar dress, it's my favourite tree decoration and my favourite other house decoration is my old Santa Claus that we've had since 1994. He's really old and creaky. What's your favourite tree uh, decoration? The tree decoration. What? The Hanging Snowman. Or this. <laughs> no, did he bring it up because it'll get caught? He, he's talking about the little Santa and Snowman that sing. Oh, that's that's under the, I, they sing this under the tree. Jackie Carlin asked, Do you have table gifts for everyone to unwrap on Christmas Day? And do you have three courses? No, we don't do table gifts. And yes, yes we usually do do three courses but nobody can ever eat pudding. So this year at Mum's, we're actually just going to skip starter because they all want their pudding and I'm just going to have cheese. We usually have starter. We usually have soup for starter. Oh, aye, true. Liz Jarvis asks, what do you prefer, mince pies or Christmas pudding? Mince pies. Mince pies. Easy. Cindy Thornley and Stephanie, 1975, ask, when do you do gift opening as a family? Is it first thing in the morning, after lunch or in the evening? first thing in the morning, af just after breakfast. Denise doing Slimming World asks, apart from Christmas Day, what is your favourite day in December? Christmas Eve. Because that's when I'm giving out all the Christmas Eve boxes to the nieces and nephews in this one. What's your favourite day? Well, if it's Christmas Eve, but I don't know if that would actually really count, so 23rd. Because I always get my, like a movie or something out of the calendar. Oh, the 23rd, aye. Nicola Edwards asks, have you had any cooking disasters over the Christmas period? No, really. No, not really. Last year, the carrots wouldn't come in the flipping boil. Like, they were on for about an hour. I kid you not, they were on in that old, my old soup pot for like an hour. And they weren't coming to the boil. And we ended up having to microwave them because everything else was ready. It turns out, yeah, they were microwave. They were even still even. so nice, but um, it turns out my old soup pot was warped on the bottom, so it wasn't lying flush with the cooker, so it wasn't getting any heat to it. But oh my god, that was like the biggest disaster that I've had. It wasn't all that much of a disaster, to be honest. Loopy Lou asks, your most memorable Christmas event? I don't know. Well, we've talked about our favourite Christmas memory, but. Would it be like something that would, oh, maybe last year when um, the Spectacle of Light, I think that was oh, my favourite oh. event that we've done over the Christmas period for God knows how many years. I really loved Spectacle of Light. And fingers crossed, fingers crossed we can still go to it this year. Lucy asks, what is your and Ali's favourite Christmas drink? Box Fizz. The apple and grape schlur. Schlur. Schlur, schlur. It's pronounced schlur, schlur, schlur. Katie asks, what is your favourite part of Christmas dinner? Oh, we've answered that. So food. <laughs> Jessica Barnes asks, what would be your dream present to receive on Christmas? That's basically what they asked. No, this is talking specifically about present. Um, just, is this just for one year? Like, what? Tickets to Bora Bora. Um, Bora Bora. Ah. Uh, oh, I can't remember what mine would be. Ownership of Lindor. <laughs> That's a good one, Ali. Um, and the last question. This is the last question. Hey, we've done that pretty quick. I thought we were going to be here for an hour. Jill's Frills and some witchy skills asks, do you have a real tree or an artificial one? Uh, for artificial. It's artificial. I would actually really like to get a real tree, but because we've got so many animals, we couldn't get one with all the needles that drop. I think even the ones that aren't, don't drop needles, still drop some needles, so we couldn't get one with all the animals that we have. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 14. 14. Hi everyone and welcome to Vlogmas. Stop it! Don't do it again. <laughs> um. Uh -uh. It's not like I'm saying the F word, Ali. And Granny Jane. Oh, that wasn't me. That was her. That was Ali. That was her.
Can we move off the poof? No, we'll have to stay here over here now. Amy Moorhead. Amy Moorhead. Mo uh, no. Leave it. Leave it. No, I'm fixing it. I don't know. Who does it in the evening? Americans. Oh, but Americans are weirdo, eh? weirdos. We are well, can you put that in the video? <laughs> Couldn't those look like you're bored though, actually. <sighs> What's happening to your hair? I don't like it like when it's proper like that. I know, but I don't want it to be a mess. Wait, wait, shh, shh, shh. Oh, I said it. You fun? Oh, You're gonna get another parcel. Right, there you go, there's your space. Here you go. Open it up. Ooh, nice bulb. That's bulb. Wow, both the bolter choosers. And what else?